Hello people and welcome to this new class in where we are going to see very important and useful tools as move, copy, duplicate and step and repeat. So first of all, I will select the ellipse tool and I will create a cycle holding shift key and release. I have my circle already. I'll increase the stroke a little bit and let's add a fill. For instance, let's say this color. We already know how to move an object in InDesign, right? We have to use the selection tool, shortcut V key. Then we select our object and we have just to click and drag if we want to do it manually or we can use the transformation panel if we want to be more precise using specific numbers, specific measures. Another option, another possibility to move things in InDesign is by clicking twice on the selection tool. The move panel pops up and from here we can change the position, the angle, we can make a copy and we have this option, the preview option, on or off to see in advance the results. For instance, let's move this cycle horizontally 25 millimeters. I type in 25, I click inside another box and then our cycle already moved 25 millimeters to the right side. We can turn on and turn off the preview to check the result, right? If we enter now in the vertical box another measure, for instance 50 millimeters, and one clicks in another box, then as a result of this diagonal movement, automatically we have the distance and the angle. Let's turn off and turn on the preview again, and we can check how our cycle is moving in a diagonal direction, right? The result of that diagonal is the distance and the angle. Once we are happy with the result, we can say OK or we can say copy. Let's make a copy. Then we still have the original cycle and we have one more copy. Easy. Let's delay this copy because now I want you to make a copy using another way. I am selecting my circle, click and drag. We are moving the object to another position, right? And we should know that if we move this element holding shift key, as long as shift key always is making perfect things, in this case, perfect things means to keep, let's say, perfect angles in the movement. This time is zero and the element, the object, is moving just horizontally. Here we are. Control set. And let's repeat this movement now vertically. Click and drag. I hold shift key and then we are working on this perfect angle 270. I release my mouse and here we are. Control set. But we didn't want to make a movement. We wanted to make a copy. Then we have to use Alt key. I select my object, click and drag, and then I hold Alt key. I keep dragging while I am holding Alt key and I release. And here I have my copy. Control set. Let's do it again. And this time I will hold in my keyboard Alt key plus shift key. Then when I click and drag, I am making a copy while I am keeping as well the perfect angle, zero degrees in this specific case. Then I release my mouse and here we are. We have a copy and we controlled the position of that copy in a straight horizontal line. We can do the same in a vertical direction, right? Click and drag. I hold Alt key plus Shift key and I release my mouse and then the keyboard. Here we are. Imagine now that I want to repeat this last copy. Then I have to use Ctrl key plus Alt key plus Shift key plus V key. This way, automatically, InDesign has created a new copy using the same parameters as in the last movement, in the last copy. Let's do it again from zero. I will delay all the copies. I will place my circle here. I will make it a little bit smaller and then I will make a copy using Alt key and Shift key to place it just below, let's say on here. Then I want to repeat this copy. I have to use Ctrl key plus Alt key plus Shift key and letter D. And here we have another copy at the same distance and I can do it over and over again. This way is very easy to repeat copies in a fast way. This key combination is what InDesign used to call duplicate. And we can find it when we expand the edit menu and we move here. Duplicate. Shortcut, Control, Alt, Shift, D. Then just below we find another option. 
call step and repeat shortcut control add u let's use it but first of all i will delete all the copies then i select the original one let's go over edit step and repeat the step and repeat menu pops up and we find here two different options one called grid and one called offset thanks to this tool we will be able to make many copies at once so let's create a grid rows four columns four the preview is on and we have just one column right we don't have four we have four rows but we have just one column this is because the offset in this box in the horizontal box is zero let's increase this offset 50 millimeters and here we are i will increase the vertical offset till 50 millimeters as well and now it's a matter of playing with these different values till we are happy with the result let's adjust the values to make a grid over all the page let's then reduce the offset to place the cycles closer to each other let's increase the number of columns and the number of rows and once we are happy with the result we hit ok and here we have our read using the command step and repeat to finish the class i will show you how we can use this read to make something let's say kind of cool firstly i will import a photo so let's go over file place ctrl d i will use this photo called venice let's place it here outside of the page and then i will reduce the size proportionally because my goal is to use the grid as a mask for the photo this way i will make a creative composition right our first instinct to do this might be to select all the different cycles together and then try to place a photo inside using the command ctrl d or file place then i select my image the venice image and i try to place it inside but it's not working the image is going inside just one cycle it is happening the same as if we use any geometry for instance this rectangle frame once selected ctrl d venice image open and then it goes in right so the thing here is to make all the cycles work as one in order to do this we have to use another tool called compound path let's do it first of all i will delete the image inside that guy then i will select all of my cycles then we have to go over object paths make compound path shortcut ctrl 8 if we want to release the compound path then just below we have the option but now we want to make a new compound path so we hit this option the compound path is already done and then we have just to place the image inside shortcut ctrl d we select again our image and this time the image goes in correctly of course we can even go into the compound path by clicking twice this way we are touching the photo now and we can adjust and transform that photo as usual making the photo bigger or smaller or transforming the proportions once we are happy one click outside in case we don't like for instance the stroke of the cycles selection tool i click the compound path and i say stroke none and now everything is working as just one element if the image is pixelated then right click display performance high quality display anyways as i told you we will have a specific model talking about images i hope you have enjoyed this exercise and i'll see you in the next episode